Good morning and welcome to Trading the Trend on Wednesday, the 12th of October. Now, last week we traded this hourly chart on the DAX 40 contract, the German equity index. And basically, you can see here we have a very strong uptrend. We traded above previous resistance and uh, we went long at 12,445 with a stop loss below the last reaction of 12,345. So we're risking 100 points with an upside target of 12,945. And the DAX did go higher. As you can see here, it went to 12,700. But in the end, it did stall at the resistance line and then it came off again. And eventually, as you can see here, it stopped us out. Now, you could have made money on this trade because it went up by around 300 points or so, and we were risking 100. So you have nearly a 3 to 1 risk ratio. But because my upside target was at 12,945, it didn't get reached. So you need to manage your risk. And one way of doing that, for example, is to take your initial risk, in this case, 100 points. And as soon as the market moves in the direction of your trade by 100 points, you then move your stop loss level to break even to the same entry price you had before. That way you lose nothing in case of the market coming off again. So that was last week's trading the trend. And this week's, I'd like to look at the price of gold. You can see on the hourly chart, we have come off. And on the daily chart here, what has happened is that we have fallen for five consecutive days. And we can see that we have a series of lower highs and also lower lows. So the downtrend is still very much intact. And what I would like to do is use a minor bounce, which may happen in the next few days, back to the early September low at $1,689 per troy ounce to go short the price of gold and uh, have a stop loss above the last two reaction highs here at $1,736 with a downside target at $1,610. So that is our trading the trend for this week is to go short gold of $1,689 with a stop loss at $1,736 and a downside target at 1,610.